What's up everybody? This is Mr. Rightway and guess what? I am in Vancouver, Washington. And if you're on YouTube and you love retro video games, you know the person to my right, not my left, because I'm looking at the camera because I don't know what my direction is. But anyway, <laughs> we got Sick Cooper. That's how you say it? Yep. All right, cool. I always want to say Sly Cooper because I get that mixed. Do you get, you get that a lot? Yeah, you get that I, a lot. And then we also get people saying Sly Cooper. Sly Cooper? <laughs> yeah. Where did that come from? So it's SIC, okay. which was the acronym for one of my old bands in high school. Okay. It was Spear Induced Carnage Death Metal. Uh, do you, uh, <laughs> you do look like a rock. I was like, he, I think he like he played before. Yeah. Lots okay. of death metal, black metal, stuff like that. Okay, okay. Um, but that was the acronym was SIC, and then my first name is Cooper. Okay. So I created the channel before I even started uploading any content. Mm -hmm. So it, I didn't picked that name for any special reason other than it was just the acronym of my band and then my first name dude and i just kept it that's cool that's cool because you just did a rebranding yeah so sick there is another channel called sick cooper now okay um i have some stuff going up but the main channel is now just double jump video games which is for the store so i uh, instead of instead of like creating a new channel for mm -hmm. double jump i just rebranded the sick cooper channel to double jump mm. and then made a different channel for sick cooper so okay uh, the channel is just double jump video games okay and we're here at the store today that's right guys we are here at double jump video games and guess what you know i am on my wii u journey i have over 80 games right now i don't have that many left so what I asked Sue Cooper to do today is show me some games. I brought some games to trade. I don't know how much I'm gonna get it traded, but you know, from the store, guys, you've seen it. I bought a lot of just Japanese stuff. I don't even know if it's worth anything, but whatever I get, I am gonna show you guys today. I am gonna try to add to my Wii U collection. And also, a bonus for this episode, we're gonna start it off big. In this box, he has some Wii U stuff that he says gonna make me jealous. And now he probably is, cause this guy, if you've seen this channel, huge collection. Tell a little bit about collection. You got a lot of complete collections, don't you? Uh, I've got a few. So um, N64 is my favorite. I've okay. got a full complete in box North American N64 set. Every game, every box, every manual. Okay. Um, some variants and stuff as well for that. I have a complete Wii U collection. Uh, I'm just working on variants and some stuff like that. Okay. Uh, but I've got every main game. Okay. Um, I also have a complete in box North American Virtual Boy collection, which. Um, in box? Yeah. Completed that one kind of recently. <laughs> in box, y'all. Look at that. <laughs> My girlfriend Abby got me the Jack Bros game for my birthday last year. Oh man. Which is crazy, crazy. How much is that? Like a four or five hundred dollar game? It's like two grand. Okay. <laughs> it's really expensive. Shout out to shout out <laughs> to the girlfriend, man. Uh, I just met her in there. She's really cool. She's all about her business too, boy. Yep. She runs the store, don't she? She does. Right, I can tell you. Right. She <laughs> Look, she like, hey, how you doing? Y'all get this over here. You go do this, go do that. <laughs> I look yep. that's great. She's Good. a manager and she she does a very good job. That's good, man. You always have a great uh, woman by your side. My wife is amazing, man. Like, just, it's, it's always good to get a good quality woman in your life. So shout out to all the good women out there holding us down because <laughs> we can't do this because we probably go crazy. Yeah, definitely can't <laughs> do it alone. There's there's way too much to do. Yeah. Um, do you want to yeah. you want to get to this, this good stuff? Yeah, so I brought some things from my personal collection. All right. Um, you saw the stuff out in the store that we have available. So if you trade some stuff in, you can't pick from this. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping to pick from that box, y'all. <laughs> I can pick from his personal collection. So what I'm gonna do is, so I'm gonna close my eyes, I'm gonna hold out my hands like a little baby, and I'm gonna like, what does he have? So I don't know, you know you know how it is, guys. Let's see, let's see, let's go. Yeah. Let's... So you're going for the Wii U collection. Yes. And I brought some stuff that is more uncommon. Okay. That maybe you haven't seen yet in your, in your collecting. Um, some stuff that's like really rare, and then some stuff that when I bought it mm -hmm. wasn't so rare because I finished my set, you know, a couple years ago. Yeah. Um, so I've got some stuff that I bought when it came out, and now it's hard to find. Mm. So different bundles and stuff like that. So. All right, I'm closing my eyes and then we the first one. I want to so. see if you have seen them, what you think about them, and then we can show the people as well. All right. I'm gonna start off with some stuff that's a little bit more common. All right, cool, cool. First one is. Give it to be, me. Gonna be two things. I'll show it to the camera first. All right. I'll let you see. Ooh, this is, mm, <laughs> smells, smells good. All right, the first one is, ah, yes, yes, Shake Down Hawaii. So let me guess, the other one is the limited edition. Yep, yeah. I knew it. All right, 
So yes, I had both of these. Right now, these are not hard to get. I'm gonna have to go on eBay and get them, but these are, I guess, officially the last Wii U games or physical Wii U games release. And I, I, I guarantee you these, I don't know, man. What do you think? Do you think these gonna go up? These are great. They, they seem like the kind of games that definitely would. Um, Cause right now they're still both on a hundred right now. Yeah, I mean, they've gone up a little bit then cause they were, I bought these from B Blank Entertainment's website when they released them. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't looked these up or anything, so I don't know what they go for, but I mean, they weren't that much. No, they wouldn't. I remember it had to be when I, when I sold it, I sold those two. And I'm like, they wouldn't really hide them. I think a lot of people still don't recognize these are out yet. I mean, still. Yeah, cause it's, cause this game was released on so many different platforms. Mm -hmm. And I think people just overlook that there is a Wii U version. Mm -hmm. Cause they also released, um, a so, real nice review and, and what's so funny about this these are two of the same games just different covers yeah <laughs> so this one's cool because it's like it's just like a standard box protector but they printed everything on it mm -hmm. which i think is cool they did that for a couple different ones but that is nice um, i did say we were going to start off with the, the yeah le the least cool stuff. the least cool stuff we'll it's keep, still cool all right so here we go we'll keep going these ones maybe fall in into the same vein okay but let's see here we go Ooh, two more games. Uh, let's see. Ah, yes. Okay, I don't collect imports, but with these, I may go after these once I finish the full set. So this is the same, not the same vein, but I saw these on Facebook. Both yeah. of them, yes, both of these, yes. Are these still hard to get? Oh, I know you had got both of these. So, I'm not sure about the shmup collection, mm -hmm. but I have sold, I bought, because I bought these from from the company that produced them, uh, Pixel Heart. Yeah, it was I think. the reason I bought them because I don't usually collect a lot of imports either. But these were these were only released PAL. Mm. So for whatever reason, they didn't do a U.S. release of them, and they were also super late. They came out like when Shakedown Hawaii came out, or, or did. maybe a little bit before. Um, but they were limited. It's like it's three thousand, I think. Did they say this is three thousand? Yeah, they're say, both three thousand. Yeah, that's what I was saying about three thousand because I saw that on face. They yeah. promoted the heck out of that on Facebook, and I just didn't jump on it because I like when it comes, you know, comes to uh, set collecting. It seems like North American sets are always the ones that are like, I guess, more sought off or more valuable. Yeah. And and but with Wii U is so different. Yeah, there's just there's way more collectors in the U.S. Mm -hmm. So. The North American stuff is always going to have a wider appeal. Yeah. So it holds its value more or it goes up more. Um, but because these ones were only PAL, that's why I bought them. Mm -hmm. And I bought a couple extra of at least the Finding Teddy. And we sold one in store just a couple days ago for 200 Jeez. For 150 or 200 I can't remember exact, but it was a lot. Mm. So I don't know about Shmup Collection, but they definitely have both gone up in value because I think they were only like... 40, 30, 40 bucks. Yep, there was only 30, 40 bucks. All right. This Ready is for the next one. Yeah, this is, this is what excited about collecting for the Wii U again, guys. You're just seeing different stuff, and we're in a different state, different city, so, and talking to different collectors. So, this was all about. So, let's go to the next one. Close my eyes, open my hands like a little kid, and I'm waiting. So, this waiting for the good one, ones. You might have seen this is a bundle. This was a standard release in North uh -oh, America. Uh oh. Uh oh. But standard. it's really hard to find. Hold on. Hmm. Ooh, I want to kind of guess standard bundle. Hold on. <laughs> I can't guess this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> this is. Let me see. Hold on. <laughs> okay, it got a Wii and it got a, a remote, a remote in there. It seems like it. Yep. Nintendo Land. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had this. I had this one too, but I sold it. Oh. Yeah, this one's hard to find. This is hard to find. This is definitely hard to find, guys. But yeah, this one's weird because it's the pack-in game, mm -hmm. and they didn't pick the most popular Wii Remote. So it's like two things combined. Like, it's just super weird. And it's going to be, I guarantee that's going to skyrocket. I need to find another one. <laughs> I need yeah. to get another one. <laughs> if I see one to show tomorrow, guys, we're going to have show footage, but I'm, get, I'm getting it. All right, let's go again. We got... Quite a few more, actually. Oh, let's um, go. This one is kind of weird. Okay. You might be able to hear it before you see it, but um, this one 
Hmm. I bought from Toys R Us. What? I bought this from the Toys R Us in Portland, Oregon okay. before they closed. Hmm. And very weird. That is very weird. <laughs> I don't Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay, I've never seen this one in person. I've seen it separate. I've never yeah. seen it together. So this is how it came together? This is exactly how it was at Toys R Us. Dude, this is, look at this, y'all. I mean, <laughs> that's, that is, that's, okay. Super weird. Stupid stuff like this is gonna be like, oh, this would be $1,000 five years from now. <laughs> Cause it's so, it's like a mail away. Yeah, it's really weird. It's got the game and then it's got like a little, little Lego bag and then <clears throat> every they're both together inside a poly bag which is that really is weird weird you'll see some on ebay that people will find this little set and just bundle it with the game yeah but there's no way to guarantee that it came like that you know what i mean but this one i didn't put it in this bag this is how it was in the glass case at the toys r us at least the one in portland it might have been different elsewhere but i uh, think it's probably different variations of that it gotta be yeah it I, has to be because this is gonna be one of the weird tales you know like we was talking about the Jurassic Park one. Yeah, which I don't have yet. Yeah. Um, but this one, I actually, I bought a few of these because I thought it was super weird. And it was like 40 bucks or whatever. And I just like held on to them. And I don't know if you know uh, Grimsey. Mm -mm. Uh, Grimsey 42, he lives in Florida, but he was friends with, uh, with Billy and Jay and all them. Okay. Uh, but he, he has a full Wii U set as well. And he had never seen this one either. So I actually sold him or traded him or something my one of my extra ones mm -hmm. so he's got one as well i don't know who else has them i haven't seen a single other person with it in the bag see that's a, another thing too is regional stuff like games can be like regional and just releases yeah. can be regional and you just don't know it's so that's the fun and the frustrating part about collecting Ugh. yeah and who knows maybe the toys r us employee in portland put it in this bag but they did it to all the copies they had and it was on the shelf like that so I had to buy it. That's good. <laughs> That's nice. All right, next one up. Here we go, y'all. All right. Mm. This one, I want to almost say that I can guarantee you've never seen it. Mm. Or maybe even heard of it. Okay. This one's pretty unique. And I do have, like, the story and a little bit of history about it. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. This one is sealed. Be careful with that one. <laughs> huh. This has got a window. It does. This is Zombie You. Dang, I never seen this one. This is <laughs> bonus box edition. Bonus box. I I heard about this. I heard about this one, but I never seen it. That's 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 definitely unique. Yeah. So this one is limited to a thousand. This is number seventy six out of a thousand. Um, so it it's got the game in there, which is just a normal sealed copy, mm -hmm. and then it's got um, it's got a signed postcard or art something from Rob, I think it says uh, Sachetto, hmm. uh, zombie portraits. <laughs> um, so from what I understand, I think that he had, he did some work on the game, mm -hmm. but he's an artist and there's like a print of his in here that is signed. And they limited them to a thousand. And this is not necessarily an official thing. Release. Um, yeah, it was someone, I believe, out of Canada. I'm looking it up right now. Okay, have you yeah. seen it on eBay? No. Um, I actually, I know a store owner in Canada, and the guy that did these is local to him, and he got some to sell at his store. And he posted a picture of it on Facebook, and I was like, hey, I need one of those, and I want the lowest number you have. <laughs> so he went through everything, and he found me number 76. Um, I, I, I know that there was plans to do some other ones. I don't know if they ever followed through with that, but they find it. Uh, but they did the zombie U one, which is super cool. And I got and it's bonus box, bonus box edition. And I got this one here, and then got a second copy for Ryan, who is uh, one of our employees you met earlier. Mm -hmm. um, so we each have one in our collection. You need to hook me with that guy who got it. Then I need to go call him. Yeah, I can give his information. You can see if he has any left. Yeah, this please. was a while ago. Oh, oh, hey. this was like a year and a half ago he at might, least he still might have he might still have some um, but that one's super cool so I, I need to I get that from like him that. yes i need when we get him when we start i'm gonna go call him all right here we go next one i almost open my eye. i want to see we, we got have a couple left oh cool cool this is fun y'all 
I love when I don't see stuff like that. Now I wanna, I'm gonna be thinking about the zombie with you. <laughs> oh, this is, is this Shante? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Walmart, this is one of another exclusive guys. Okay, so story about this. When I didn't really care about the Wii U, like I, I cared about it, but I'm like, I don't want no Lego Marvel game. These were <laughs> all in the Walmart, because Walmart is in Arkansas, it came from Arkansas, I'm from Arkansas. And so it originated down there. But they had a lot of these. They had these all the time. And I just passed on it. I passed on this so many times. This is gonna be another one. The Lego, the Lego community is, not I say crazy, it's passionate. Yeah. And they co and when they collect stuff, they collect. Yeah, that's why this is so hard to find. Around. Yeah, it just. So, yeah, this was exclusive to Walmart, and it's got the it's got the Iron Patriot minifig in here. So not only are video game collectors going after it, but there's Lego collectors that buy these up as well. Oh. Anytime a game gets released with a minifig, all the Lego collectors buy them. They do. And this one, on top of being a store exclusive, was also a low print. Don't know how low, but. It was definitely not around for a long time. And super, super I got low. lucky and I got this on eBay. I had a saved search for it, mm -hmm. and, but I bought it before, I bought this years ago. So I think I paid like 40 super. bucks or so, which is pretty cheap. I don't know what they go for now, but it's, I wanted it's this. I wanted this on eBay, y'all. I wonder, I bet it's not, <laughs> but it's always cool when you see something like, it's like scan it in the sea. Yeah. And there's, be, there's another one that you no, mentioned earlier. Look, zero. The Jurassic World with the Dr. Wu minifigure, which was, I believe, a Target exclusive, and that one's really, really hard to find. Yeah, I know. I heard people offer this one guy so many. He contacted me on uh, Facebook like years ago. Yeah. But I, he showed it to me, I'm like, oh, wow. And he said he got it like just, he probably got it off a truck from somebody else, but <laughs> they did not even release that. That's almost kind of like the stadium events of that, you know, of the yeah, Wii U. I know. Uh, Grimsy Scott, I was telling you about him. Uh, he's got one. Oh, he got one too? Yeah. So it's more than two then. Okay, that's good then. Yeah, I think he knows of a few other people that have them because he's pretty connected to like the bigger collectors. Okay. Um, so there's at least a few, but I have had a saved search for that game on eBay for like three or four years and I've not seen a single one pop up for an auction or a buy it now or anything. How much would you pay for one? <sighs> it's hard to say. You don't say it out here, I guess, but it. it... I mean, a thousand? A thousand? I don't know. <laughs> hey, now, now you have somebody who has watched the channel. They're going to send a thousand dollar offer to you. That's hey. the kind of thing that like, if you're the seller, mm -hmm. you kind of set the price. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even know if a thousand would buy one. Mm. If someone has them for sale, they'd be like, a thousand? No way. That's not enough. You never know. Yeah. All right. How many more you got? We got two more and they're going right. to come together. Oh, well, here we go, y'all. So... How wide do they do like this or small? <laughs> I'll hand you one at a time. Okay. I but think I might know what these might be. I'm gonna show the camera real quick. Oh, it seems loud. I mean, it's not loud, but it seems loud and big. Yeah, I'll big. hand you one and I'll hold the other one. Oh, oh, oh I think I know what this one is. Yeah. You okay. Uh, it's either the Mario Kart or the Zelda. Oh! In the box, Nintendo <laughs> exclusive. These, I would you say this is like? Would you say this is like the? What did I say? Not the crowning jewel, like of your collection of the Wii U collection, probably. Maybe? Of the Wii U collection, definitely. You think so? Um, there are, there are more rare variants out there, mm -hmm. but. Because this is only in but, New York. Yeah, these have such a like unique this. story and everything. Oh, look at that, y'all. So these were only released at the New York City what? Nintendo store. Mm -hmm. And from all the research that I've been able to do, talking with Scott, with Grimsey, and other collectors and everything, there's no hard numbers on how many they released, but it's rumored to be somewhere around five to 600 of each. Mm. So I have also heard from unnamed sources <laughs> that there were some available at the Nintendo employee store up in Redmond, Washington. Uh, they probably was. It probably was. Yeah. It, it um, had to be because they, you know, because you hear stories of stuff sold there all the time. Yeah. And a lot of people find stuff around Seattle, like a lot of development stuff and everything like that. So it's definitely possible. 
Um, but Thank y'all, this is beautiful. I wish I had one of these. I wish yeah. I had both of them. These are su super crazy rare. Both of these ones are still factory sealed, mm -hmm. which I don't think is that uncommon to find. I think most of these stayed sealed. Yeah. But um, I know somebody in Dallas has one. He, I, I don't know if he was going to sell it, but he was talking about selling it. But yeah, these yeah. are nice. I've actually had two of this one because I bought that one. Mm -hmm. Well, I bought these together. I'm pretty sure. Um, but I had that one and then Scott again he sent me a fi or sent me an eBay listing and because I think at the time I paid I paid a thousand a piece okay and then he's like he sent me a listing on eBay he's like oh I think you might have overpaid huh and he sent me a listing for one for 450 and I was like no I didn't and I bought that one <laughs> and then I sold that one to a friend for like like 1400 or something like that you just made money off your friend huh? <laughs> <laughs> I think he got a good deal and I know he's super happy with it but um but yeah these are like these are ridiculously hard to find they and are i have saved searches for these on ebay as well and i haven't seen one pop up someone was selling just the blue shell out of this one like last week for like 300 bucks and i was like oh i was like it's kind of cool it's like a little trophy kind of thing and i was like that'd look really cool on the shelf since mine is sealed i'm not gonna like open, open it, it just to display the thing but i was really thinking about buying it but then i was like eh, it's kind of a lot <laughs> it's probably worth it it's probably sold by now but yeah. i still thought it was kind of cool wow but yeah there like i said there are some other variants and stuff that are way more rare than these but they're nearly impossible to find one of them i was telling you about earlier was the the darksiders fan art edition mm -hmm. which is just a regular copy of the game but it's got a slip cover they did thq did a contest i saw that i saw that i remember that yeah yeah it was did. some ugly drawing <laughs> It's it's not the best drawing. But no, it's not. It was limited to like 50 copies or something, mm -hmm. and it only was released in Mexico. And I've seen Scott that. Scott has one of those too. So Scott is a big time collector. He huh? has probably, well, in terms of like uh, like public knowledge collections, he probably got the best Wii U collection. Oh really? At least for games. I know there's more people that have like all the different console bundles. I think I've like seen that. this Scott on uh, the on, on Facebook. I think he's in the Facebook yeah. groups. Yeah, I, I think yeah, I seen. Uh, you probably interacted with him at some yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, I probably did. Uh, he's a cool guy though. Yeah, but yeah, he he knows of like two other people that have one as well, and I had the opportunity to buy one at one point, but it was really sun faded, mm. and I was like, the whole point of buying it is for that slipcover, and the slipcover sun faded. It kind of kills it for me, yeah. and it was also ridiculously expensive. Maybe it's worth that. I don't know, but I was like, I can't spend that much for one that I just want to upgrade in the future. Man. Like I tell you guys, the Wii U probably gonna get crazy as collectors. I can't, I can't predict how crazy it's gonna be, but I can say it's gonna be n not nuts. It's gonna get up there. If you're not collecting for it, please, I'm telling you guys, do it now. If you want to collect for it, if you just want to play some games, buy it on eShop before all the games go down. But once the eShop close next year. It's gonna be like the Virgil boy. It's yeah. gonna go up, man. You are store owner, so so let people know. Like, what do you think about this? So I've actually been saying for years that that Wii U games were underpriced and that mm -hmm. they were gonna go up in value. And then once they announced that the eShop was closing, that happened with a bunch of games. I was telling you earlier, Xenoblade Chronicles X went from 30, 40 bucks up to a hundred, and it's crazy. It's starting to come back down a little bit. Yeah. Like I think we have a copy that we just got and we priced it seventy nine ninety nine. But still, that's more than double what we sold our last two copies for. Is that new or used? That's pre-owned. That's just for a complete copy. Pre-owned, um, $80. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. And, like, literally, the week, like, when they announced that the eShop was closing, mm -hmm. that, like, same two-day period, we sold both of ours. So if someone saw that and they knew, yeah. they probably got a good deal. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so it's, it's already happening. But I've been saying it for years. And if you go back and watch some of our old videos on the channel, I've been saying it. Yeah, like, I've been saying it since 2018, 17, man. Yeah. I just like, I just had that feeling because when people start saying, oh, the Wii U failed, it was this, it was that. I like, you know what? It might have failed, but it's still sold. And then to Nintendo, Nintendo fans are different. Yeah. I mean, if you probably know as a collector, I mean, a collector and a store owner, Nintendo fans is a different breed. It's nothing wrong with that. It's just different. Like the um, the Virtual Boy or the Dreamcast or the Saturn, any, just look at, just look at history. Any failed, I hate saying failed because they sold, so I hate saying that. But I mean, not selling well console, years later, take off. This one, you got Nintendo and you have like 
this is like their last system, their last system before the switch. But the system is like, what, t almost 10 years old now? Yeah, and it's crazy. And I think part of the reason that prices have gone up, but it's, it's gonna go up more in the future, is because you're, we're not talking about a console that no one ever heard of when it came out. Mm -hmm. Like, you go back, you talk about like the Atari Jaguar, yeah. or like the Neo Geo Pocket or something. There are diehard collectors for those consoles, but most people, even most collectors, they don't care about that stuff or they never heard about it till they got into collecting. Mm -hmm. With the Wii U, it was it was a main Nintendo console that was kind of recent. It, it came out when collecting was already popular. So yes. it's not a console no one's ever heard of and then they're gonna discover later. It's a console that everybody already knows about <laughs> and everybody knows it didn't sell very well. Mm -hmm. So just all those things together, like and the fact that it came out when collecting was already popular, but didn't sell well, all those things just push it to being like heavily collected in the future. Look at the GameCube. Yeah, the GameCube <laughs> sold way less than Xbox and Sony. And right now GameCube stuff is at an all time high price wise. Like some of the games, I mean, even a filler title, you can't get for less than 15, 20 bucks. <laughs> I know, look at stuff like, well, the average GameCube price is probably about 20 bucks. Yeah, at least. So I'm gonna go in there and see what I got for my trade and then I'm going to show you guys on another episode what I got for the Wii U, but this has been fun. Look at the different collectors, a little different episode, you know, we still trying to rebuild the video game collection on the Wii U side the right way and the best way, hopefully the cheapest way because these games are going <laughs> up like GameCube, goodness. And then you see this stuff right here, stuff like this, yeah. But last question. Do you think the Wii U collection is complete if you don't have stuff like this? Because these are like kind of extras, right? Do you consider those extra? Or do you consider, because this really wasn't mainstream release, right? Right. So do you consider, how do you consider a full set? So for me, a full set is just one of every game. Okay. It doesn't matter which release you get. You can, mm -hmm. It could be player's choice. It doesn't matter. Okay. For me, that's a full set. Anything after that is just bonus. Okay. Like. I consider like 100% for a full set is one of every game. Mm -hmm. And then once you start getting into the variants and like the, you know, the different bundles and stuff like that, which is how I, I do collect, it's like 101% complete. Okay, 102%, you know, okay. like Donkey Kong 64, <laughs> yeah. kind of like that. And I, I like thinking about it that way because once you finish that full set, once you get one of every game, if you stop at that point, you're good. That's a full set. That's a full but set. if you want to keep going, there's extra stuff you can search for. And I love collecting, so that's what I do. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, make sure you check out boy right here. This information will be in the description, guys. And this is it for the Wii U set episode because we try to close this out already. I need to close it out because I am excited. Like, uh, it's a long one. It's a long one, but it's a great one, guys. I hope, thank you for staying with us. And until next time, take care of yourself and each other and always do it the right way. Take care. <laughs> and somebody's doing my trays over here. Look, so I brought all these trays, guys. Look at this super CD stuff. Oh, snap. I haven't yeah. seen these right here. I remember those. You got Mega Man, the Polo Man, arm fell off. <laughs> Red Ninja. Yeah, we actually just got this one recently um, from another game store.